How much will it cost to raise broilers from day old to maturity? Is raising broilers a profitable business? How much do broiler farmers earn after raising a set of broilers? These are some of the few out of many questions that people ask when they want to venture into broiler business. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you all the expenses and profits we made in raising 272 broilers for six weeks between 22nd July to 1st of September 2022. Probably by the end of the video, you might be able to make your assumption or make your decision whether broiler business is something you can venture into and the video is starting right now. I want to use the next 30 seconds to advertise a fairly used six bedroom duplex available for sale in the beautiful city of Enugu State. The building is located in a corner spot, which means it has two gates and two fronts in independence layout. It has three self-contained boys quarters and a security unit, and the car park is large enough to contain about five cars. I will be sharing the details of the agent in the description of this video so that you can contact him and then go for inspection to check the house if it's something you want and also i'll be sharing other facilities and details of the building in the description of this video so do well to check it out on the first week of raising the broilers which is from day one to day seven and according to our calendar was between 22nd to 28th july we got the O chicks 272 of them from agritech at the rate of 400 naira per chick and it amounted to a total of 105,000 naira. On the first week, the best, each bed is meant to consume 0 0.167 kg. So calculating the cumulative amount of feed, the 272 beds will be eaten in the first week amounted to be 1.8 bags. But we got three well, three bags of breedwell professional super starter. The remnants will be passed over to the second week. At the rate of each bag of breeders super starter was bought at the rate of um, 9,830 naira. So the three bags came up to be 29,490 naira. We got the medications for the first week, excluding the vaccination. So the medications we got were the normal glucose, multivitamin, antibiotics, and anticoxidiosis medication, and it came out to be 4,100 naira. We got wood shavings, 1,400 naira. We got six bags of charcoal at the rate of 3,800 naira per bag. And the six bags accumulated to be 22,800 naira. We got four brooding peppers for the brooding floor. And it's 2,550 naira. We got crazy to enable us light the charcoal. 3,250 naira and then with all the transportation we did within the first week concerning the broilers cost us 2,300 naira and the first week expense amounted to 170,890 naira for the second week which is between the 8th to the 14th and according to our calendar between July 29th to August 14th we got three bags of breedwear professional super starter because each bed is meant to consume 0 0.375 kg then getting the cumulative average that the two seven at this time we've lost one chick we lost one chick on the seventh day so we now have two seven one chicks so the cumulative feed the two seven one chicks we eat if one of them is consuming 0 0.375 kg is four bucks and remember we have leftover from here which we brought here but we still got extra three bags of breedwear professional super starter at the rate of 29,490 naira remember that breedwear as of this point was sold for 9,830 naira that same week we got three bags of top feed pro line super starter at the end of the week we had to change the feed to top feed so the leftover here will be carried over to the third week and a bag of top feet pro line super starter was sold for 
8,400 naira. So getting the four bucks, the three bucks, it amounted to 25,200 naira. We also got medications which included multivitamin, antibiotics, iodine solution, anticoxidiosis, and we also vaccinated the best against gumboro and it amounted to 11,400 naira. We got two bags of charcoal to support the brooding for 7,600 naira. Remember each bag of charcoal was sold for 3,800 naira. We got wood shavings at the rate of 3,000 naira. In the second week, four of our chicks died, so we sent them to the lab for proper diagnosis and we paid 3,400 naira. Then the transportation for the second week cost us 1,000 naira, making it a total of 81,190 naira. On the third week, which, are, which is between day 15 to day 21, and according to our calendar, happened between August 5th to August 11th, each bed is meant to consume 0 0.65 kg of feed. So, calculating the cumulative amounts that the Best the broilers left will consume it amounted to be 6.9 bags. So we bought six bags of top feed pro line super starter at the rate of 8,400 naira per bag and it amounted to 50,400 naira. Remember, the leftover from feed here was carried over to this place. We also got wood shavings for 2,800 naira and on the third week we vaccinated them against Gumburu and Lasota. That's infectious bursa disease and Newcastle 2 disease. And the vaccination cost us 2,800 naira. Then the transport for the third week amounted to be 950 naira, giving us a total of 56,950 naira. On the fourth week, each bed was meant to consume around 0 0.945 kg of feed. So calculating the cumulative amount of the beds left, it amounted to be 10 bags. Remember, we'll have a carryover from here. And then we got 12 bags for the start, which amounted to be 100,800 naira. We vaccinated them against Newcastle disease for 950 naira. We got extra wood shavings for 1,400 naira. And the transportation for the fourth week was 250 naira, giving us a total of 103,400 naira. On the fifth week, each bed was meant to consume 1.215 kg of feed. So calculating the feed for the broilers, it amounted to be 12.9 bags. We got 13 bags of top feed proline super starter at the rate of 8,400 naira per bag. So 13 bags gave us 109,200 naira. The medications they took for the fifth week involved the antibiotic, anticoxidiosis, multivitamin and calcium which amounted to 10,700 naira for getting the medications. The wood shavings 2,100 naira and the transportation for the fifth week 400 naira giving us a total of 122,400 naira. On the sixth week which was the planned last week for raising the base which happened between these 36 to 42 and between August 26 to September 1st, each bed was meant to consume 1.43 kg of feed. So, calculating the cumulative, all the beds will consume amounted to be 15.3 bags. We got 14 bags here, and then the leftover from here was carried over to this place, which gave us 14 bags for top feed pro line super at the rate of 8,400 naira, gave us 117,600 naira giving us a total of 117,600 naira. Due to some unforeseen circumstances, on the 42nd day, the bears were not sold. So, they entered the 43 and stayed with us till the 44, which was between September 2nd and 3rd. That's the seventh week. We had to buy three bags of top feed finisher. Top feed finisher was sold at the rate of... Um, Okay, three bags of top feed was sold to us as 26,750 naira, which is here, 20, okay, 23,700 naira. The transportation cost 2,050 naira, and then 
we got a time to make contacts to call different code rooms that we have matured broilers for sale which cost us 1000 naira for the airtime giving us a total of 26750 naira total cash spent from week 1 170000 naira 56950 naira 103400 naira 122400 naira 117600 naira and 26 1750 naira amounted to be 679,018 naira. Now for the sales, that's the, the total cash we earned. The best we are not sold. The selling was not consistent. The price of selling was not consistent. We sold them based on the number of bears the customers we are buying. Like for instance, 29 people came to the farm to buy beds, broilers. So we sold to them. Due to they were individuals, about 18 of them, some of them bought two. Due to they were buying very small number, we sold to them at the rate of 4,000 naira, which amounted to 116,000. Two people, we sold to two people 3,850 naira. That's we gave them a 150 naira discount after serious bargaining from such customers. So for the two, we we got 7,700 naira. Someone came and bought 71 broilers. And we gave the person a discount of 300 naira. Which we got 262,700 naira. We had some that we are smaller than others. They were 12 in number. So if you follow the series in this video, you notice when I introduce isolation, these were the 12 in isolation. They were still small. So we sold them at the rate of 2,500 Naira and it amounted to 30,000 Naira. Someone came and bought 104 of the best. So we gave the person 400 Naira discount and at the rate of, and gave the person the bed at the rate of 3,600 Naira, which amounted to 374,400 Naira. And then we sold 101.2 kg as in kg to cold rooms you know cold rooms do buy theirs in kg although it cost us 48 bears so the 102 kg at the rate of 1500 naira gave us 151,800 naira so total cash end was 942,800 naira the difference the profit we made between the total cash end minus the total cash spent was 263,000 720 naira but we would have made more imagine if we stocked up to 500 broilers imagine if the number of broilers we raised were over 1000 the profit margin would have been feel free to ask any question if you, you have in the comment section of this video if you also have contribution to make drop it in the comment section make sure you subscribe to this channel and then see you in our next video